The United States or America is the most civilized country on the earth. Still is the most civilized country on the earth. As bad as it's getting in the United States, we still are the most civilized country on the earth. Stay tuned for this message. If you have found Overcoming the Dragon Ministry to be a source of strength and help to your spiritual walk in these trying times, why not show your support today? Just $1 a month from each of our listeners will help with operating costs and keep us on the air. The Prince of Darkness is bringing his full wrath in these last days, and Overcoming the Dragon Ministry stands ready to defend the gospel and overcome his lies with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Brother Skinner relentlessly marches forward through enemy lines, tearing down Satan's strongholds and setting the captives free. Your investment in this ministry, large or small, will be rewarded in this life and the life to come. God bless you. Now, many times we discuss how bad it's getting in the United States. And you know that uh, I pretty much uh, don't shy away from letting you know how bad it's getting. However, I do want to offer you hope. I mean, it's easy to just look at the negative, right? It's easy just to look at all the things that are going on in our country and just lose hope. After eight years of the Obama administration, uh, this country doesn't have any hope, and that is out of the mouth of his own wife. No hope. Well, understand, people, that as bleak as things are starting to look here in the United States, we are still either the most civilized country on the earth or at least one of the, one of them but i would say very close to saying we are the most civilized country on the earth i recently heard i'm not know if this is true or not but in greenland i've heard that uh, and i heard this from their own resident one of their own residents told me that in greenland that Basically, they don't have a police department with guns. They have a police department, but they don't wear guns. They don't carry guns. And I asked them why, and they said because our crime is so low in our country. It's just there's no, you know, there's hardly any crime, so they don't carry guns. Well, I don't know how true that is, but that's what they told me. But... Even though there is, you know, violence in this country, murders and things that go on in this country, all the corruption and all of this, our country is still very civilized. And if you don't believe me, just go out and drive on the highways or the interstate, the regular roads in your area where you live. Yes, there's that occasional, uh, you know, idiot driver that doesn't pay any attention to the, uh, you know, to the laws of the land as far as, you know, being responsible for their driving. But, For the most part, everybody pretty much obeys the traffic lights and, uh, you know, is, you know, responsible and is, uh, you know, conscious of the other drivers on the road and uh, courteous, being courteous to one another. You know, we see a lot of that. Now, of course, a lot of that is going away, too. We're seeing, you know, uh, a lot of that going away where people are becoming more and more 
uh, selfish. And um, the, grip, the Bible tells us, because the love of many shall wax cold. Why? Because iniquity shall abound. Um, and we are, we are seeing that. But offering you hope and letting you, you know, kind of see the good in our country. And I'm not saying that this is to the credit of our government, because it's not. Our, our government at this time is very corrupt. But as far as the citizens of this country, for the most part, the citizens of the United States of America are very civil, right? Now, let's look up the definition for the word civil. What does it mean to be civilized? Well, the dictionary tells us that to stage of social, to a stage of social, cultural, moral development, considered to be more advanced. But if you look up the synonyms for the word civilize, it means to be enlightened, it means to edify, it means to improve, it means to educate, instruct, refine, cultivate, polish, socialize, and humanize. Now, I'm sure that the definition has uh, developed over the years. But if you look at the words that are used here for being civilized, and I want to share a few more words that it will kind of help you understand what I believe is civilized, polite, courteous, well-mannered, general, gentlemanly, to be gentlemen, ladylike, mannerly. Now these are the words that the dictionary on the internet is using for the word civilized. Polite, courteous, well-mannered, civil, gentlemanly, ladylike, mannerly. There's a few more here. Let's see if look at a few more here. Well, those are the same words. So it goes back to refined, polished, sophisticated, enlightened, educated, advanced. But I believe that the words that really define the word civilized is to be courteous, polite, well-mannered, civil, gen gentlemanly, ladylike, mannerly. In other words, to have manners. Now, Just because a nation or a people is civilized, that's not enough to get to heaven. It's not enough just to be civilized. In order to go to heaven, we must be godly, right? And just because we're civilized doesn't mean we're godly. There's a whole nother level to be a citizen of heaven. Amen. If our citizenship is in heaven, we far surpass what it means to be civilized on this earth. Are you listening? We are to be holy. We are to be blameless. We are to be innocent. Amen? We are to be harmless blameless folks that is what you and I as saints of God are to be that's the character of God's people amen but we live in a world 
that is not godly, that is not uh, living holy. And this, the definition here is, I think, in a lot of ways, we do still see this here in America. We see people that are polite, right? We see people that are courteous. I see it every day. Well-mannered. Gentlemanly. Ladylike. I see it. I've experienced it. Even here, believe it or not, in Michigan. Um, now, obviously, I have experienced the opposite, too. Not polite. Not courteous. Right. Not well-mannered. But again, this is not what you and I are supposed to be living by, brothers and sisters. You and I are not trying to be uh, courteous, trying to be well-mannered. We're not trying to be polite. Amen? That's what man can do in man's own strength. That can be taught. Right? Mannerisms can be taught. However, if you're going to be harmless and you're going to be blameless and you're going to be innocent above reproach, if you're going to be holy, this has to do with a nature. Are you listening? And this is why Jesus said, you must be born again. Born of the incorruptible seed of the word of God. Every single one of us were born into sin, shapen in iniquity, have a fallen nature, right? But when we're born again, you and I don't try to live polite, courteous, well-mannered lives, right? No. We have a new nature. We have a godly nature. Amen? And because of that nature, you and I should shine brighter than those that are the, the most mannered, the most uh, educated, the most refined, the most enlightened, the most well-mannered, most courteous, most polite. You and I should shine brighter than that, brothers and sisters. We should be outshining the, the most well-mannered the most polite and courteous man at his best is but vanity. Man at his best. Are you listening? Now I've seen where those that may be considered the elite, okay? For instance, you may have someone that's a billionaire and when they're in public, they seem to act very gentlemanlike, right? And they act cordial, and they're polite, and they're courteous, and they act like a gentleman, right? And they act like ladies in public. However, in secret, they are just the opposite to the degree that many of them are involved in pedophilia. Many of them commit such uh, just horrifying acts of sin. And yet, in the public eye, they look so civil. They're just the opposite in secret. 
anything but civil. So it's not enough to put on the show uh, of mannerisms. It's not enough to put on the show of being polite and being courteous. We thank God for that, right? We thank God we live in a civilized country. We thank God that there are still people in this country that are courteous of one another, that are well-mannered, right? That are gentlemen and, and are ladies. We thank God for that, right? But that's not enough to go to heaven. That's not enough. So if you're trying to be a Christian or you're trying to be Christ-like, you're still missing the mark. You and I could never live Christ-like in our own strength. Can't be. Can never happen. We need a new nature. The divine nature. Christ's own nature. Amen? being born of that incorruptible seed, being filled with the Holy Spirit and the nature and the fruit of the Spirit. First and foremost, self-control. Now, I don't try to hold my anger back. No, I don't try to hold myself back. No, because I have a new nature. Are you listening? I don't have to try to bite my lip because I have a new nature. Amen? You and I trying to live godly are you listening? This is a futile, a futile experience. It's futile. This, this, it's futile. There's no way you and I could ever live godly in our own strength, brothers and sisters. And that's why the Bible says the grace of God has appeared unto us. Amen. God gives you and I his own power, his own strength, his own grace, hallelujah, so that we can live godly in this present world. You and I cannot live godly lives. We can't live holy before God, brothers and sisters, without his strength, without his power, without his life, without his nature. It takes his very divine nature within you and I to live godly, to live holy, to live blameless, to live innocent. Amen? But I'm still going to say I thank God for a civilized country. I thank God for those that are civilized for those that are uh you know courteous polite well-mannered but it's not enough it's not enough to go to heaven you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. You must be born again to enter the kingdom of God. If you're going to live forever with Jesus, you have got to be born again. Receive the divine nature Hallelujah. Be like Jesus. Amen? That overcoming life, that divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lusts. How? By receiving the divine nature. And the divine nature goes far beyond 
being civilized. Far beyond civilized. Amen. Praise God. Don't try to be a gentleman. Don't try to be, uh, you know, polite and courteous and well-mannered. Don't try to do that. Let his life flow through you. Let his own divine nature, let his own strength cause you to live a holy, blameless, innocent life. Harmless. Harmless. Innocent. Blameless. Amen. The Lord is able to present us before his throne without fault. The divine nature, the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Stay tuned for this important message. If you have found Overcoming the Dragon Ministry to be a source of strength and help to your spiritual walk in these trying times, why not show your support today? Just $1 a month from each of our listeners will help with operating costs and keep us on the air. The Prince of Darkness is bringing his full wrath in these last days, and Overcoming the Dragon Ministry stands ready to defend the gospel and overcome his lies with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Brother Skinner relentlessly marches forward through enemy lines, tearing down Satan's strongholds and setting the captives free. Your investment in this ministry, large or small, will be rewarded in this life and the life to come. God bless you.